Today we're making bomboloni, Italian donuts. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making Italian donuts or bomboloni. These donuts are typically served in a cafe with an espresso or a cappuccino, and they're often filled with a lemon custard filling. I know a lot of people are afraid of making donuts at home because it usually involves deep frying. So I'm going to show you how to bake and fry them. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Measurements are listed in the description below. To our stand mixer, we're going to add two types of flour. Here we have double O flour, which is, which is typically used for pasta but this will give the bomboloni a really light texture. The same measurement of bread flour, 280 grams, 100 grams of castor sugar, you can use granulated if that's what you've got, and seven grams of fast acting yeast. With our dough hook on our mixer, I'm going to give this just a quick little mix up before we add any wet ingredients. Now to this, we're going to add 90 grams of unsalted cubed butter. You can use salted butter here, just be sure to omit the additional salt in the recipe. With your butter evenly distributed amongst the flour, add three eggs, 120 milliliters of lukewarm milk, a good splash of vanilla, and just a pinch of salt. Set this on medium low speed and let it start to come together. After about 10 minutes, your dough will have a nice, smooth exterior. We're going to give it a couple of more kneads just on the countertop, and then we'll pop it aside to prove. I've lightly greased a bowl, and I'm just going to pop my dough in there. We're going to let this proof for about two to three hours until it's doubled to tripled in size. While the dough is proving, let's get started on our limoncello pastry cream. Lemon is the traditional filling for these donuts, but you can replace them with Nutella, chocolate, or any type of jam you like. Let's get one cup of milk into our saucepan. I'm using whole milk here. Turn it to about medium high heat. Now we want to flavor our milk with some of our lemon. You can use lemon zest here, but since we're straining this anyway, not everybody has a zester, I'm going to show you how you can use a vegetable peeler to just take off the rind of the lemon. You can see all of those citrus oils just jumping out of there. Try not to get too much of that white in there. That can cause bitterness. While the milk is heating, whisk together one egg and 50 grams of sugar. You want this to come together and become lighter in color. Once it looks like all your sugar has dissolved, you're ready to add the other ingredients. To this, we're adding 15 milliliters of limoncello. And last but not least, 30 grams of double O flour. We're using double O here because it really gives a silky smooth texture to the custard. Whisk until all of the flour bits have dissolved and then we're ready to add our warm milk. Once our milk is nice and hot, we're going to slowly stream it into our eggs. Start a little bit at a time because we don't want scrambled egg here. It's okay if your lemon zest goes in at this point. Because we want this cream to be silky smooth, we're going to double strain it. So I'm going to strain it back into my pot to cook it until it's nice and creamy. And then we'll strain it again once it's thickened up. I've switched to a wooden spoon at this point. You want this on a medium heat, stirring constantly until it thickens and coats the back of the spoon. You want it to be nice and thick. You can see it nicely coats the back of the spoon. I like to strain this over a plate because I find it cools a lot quicker when it's in a single layer. You'll want to spread it out into a nice even layer and then cover it with cling film. This needs to cool completely before we fill our donuts. Now that our dough has at least doubled, we'll just give it a poke. We've got some nice little dimples in there. That's what we want. We're going to roll it out and cut it into our donut shapes. Before we roll out our dough, we want to prepare our pans for our second proof. One of our pans, the pan that's going in the oven, just has a sheet of parchment on it. But the second pan, the one that will have the fried donuts, has little squares of parchment that I've already cut out. These squares are slightly bigger than my cutter. I'm using a three inch cutter for this, so you just want them to be able to fit 
on that square. This square will go in the oil with the donut to fry and that allows it to really have a nice rise and we don't deflate the donut. We're going to lightly dust our surface with some flour. This is such a beautiful dough to work with because of that butter, it's so soft. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on the top of this and just pat it out a little bit until it's a nice sort of rectangular shape. You'll want to roll this out to about a centimeter and a half to two centimeters thick. And like I always do with doughs, I like to turn it as I'm rolling. It allows for a more even roll and it makes sure it doesn't stick to the counter. We're going to dip our cutter in our loose flour and just cut out our circles straight down. Dipping your cutter in the flour stops it from sticking to the dough. I would also advise pressing straight down rather than twisting your cutter because that can cause some imperfections in your donuts. These are going to prove for another hour to an hour and a half. It's been about an hour and our donuts have proved up. You can see they've got nice light fluffiness to them. I've got my oven preheating to 190 degrees centigrade or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've got my oil heating to 170 degrees centigrade or 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Before we get these in the oven and frying, we should prepare our sugar coating. So I've put some sugar in a dish and I've melted down some butter for the ones that we're going to bake in the oven. These have been 15 minutes in the oven and they're a nice light golden brown. While still slightly warm, brush a little bit of butter over the top of your baked donuts, both sides, and then dip them in your sugar. Because they haven't been fried, if you don't put the butter on, the sugar won't stick. You can always use confectioner sugar, but it just gets such a nice crunch from that granulated sugar. And then we're going to set them aside to cool completely. Place your little paper square on your spider, gently put it into the oil, and use your tongs just to pull that paper out really gently. This will take about two to three minutes aside, and in a pot this size, I reckon we can do about two donuts at a time. If your donuts aren't floating, that means they haven't proved long enough, so give the rest of them a little bit longer to puff up. Once you see it's nice and domed up like this after a few minutes, have a quick look underneath and check if it's been browned, and then just give it a really gentle flip over. That looks perfect. Before I drop them in the sugar, I like to give them just a quick flip back in the oil so they pick up some of that sugar when it goes in the pan. With our baked donuts, because they're slightly more dense, I find it easier if we take a paring knife and just make a little cross in the side. It just helps us get all of that cream in there. We're then going to take our piping bag fitted with a sharp nozzle, pop it in the little hole that we made, and give it a good squeeze. You'll feel when it's full and it'll start to just come out the side a little bit. With the fried donuts, you don't need to pop a hole in the side with a knife. The sharp end of your piping tip should be enough. You'll just press it in and give your bag a squeeze. You don't want to overfill them, or they will explode. There you are, perfectly filled donut. one first. Mm. That lemon cream is so silky smooth and you can't go wrong with brioche ever. It's a little bit more dense than I suspect the fried one will be, but let's give that one a try. The fried one has so much more flavor. It's lighter, it's airier. From a technical perspective, the baked donuts are much easier. You pop them in the oven and you forget about them and they're consistent every single time. With fried donuts, you have to be a little bit more careful, make sure your oil temperatures don't change and that you've got a consistent color on both sides of your donut. It's a little bit trickier, but if you wanna challenge yourself, it's worth the try. For me, fried is the hands down winner. It has more flavor, it's lighter, it's airier, it holds more cream inside, and it really is reminiscent of those donuts and those bombolini that I grew up with in my nonna's house. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you down in the comments. See you next time.